Oh, boy. Well, I killed two of them. Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, no. So what was next? Uh -huh. Hello! Hi. How are things? Frustrated. I know the feeling. Yeah, especially when... When, when people who lie to you shouldn't lie to you. In this case, a professor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's just as well I'm here, because I think... Uh... I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna start carrying a shield now. Because I'm starting to get paranoid about finding the last crown. And if I don't have the shield, I am going to think life is going to suck. Because the fourth boss hurts a lot. And here you absolutely need the wings, or else there's no getting past this part. Luckily, luckily the class that it affected had a buttload of extra credit. Alright, so now for the segment that I brought the key stick for. That's the stink right now. <sighs> so, do you, do you just join the stream now, or...? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm straight for this semester to be done. So, are you familiar with... Uh, Legacy of the Wizard? Or are you... I mean, I... I've seen your Let's Play of it, but it's been a while since I've... Ah. This is why I still have the wings. But hey, yeah, of course. that's what you... That's, I guess, that's what... That's what the community here is for. To help reduce the amount of stress and to provide entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I s suddenly don't like my life situation. I'm going to heal myself up a bit. Yeah, Mother 2, that's definitely going to be a thing whenever I get to that. Especially since I've never, I don't think I've ever actually played it in any capacity. Oh, jeez. I mean, from what I remember of Mother 2, it's it's not that difficult of an RPG. It's one of those where it's more focused on a lot of the plot and the characters. Which isn't a bad thing, really. Yeah. But, I mean, as long as the gameplay is passable enough. Enemies, really fast enemies that have no pattern whatsoever. I know that there's a hidden block here somewhere. So what are some of the changes that this rando has done? Um, the treasure chests that you've been seeing have all had their contents randomized. Including the plot relevant ones. And wings that I don't really need because I already have some. Basically, you have to. I know 
you have to find the four crowns and beat the bosses that guard them. Then you can get the Dragon Slayer and kill the dragon. That's pretty much the long and short of what this game is. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember that much from the live play. Yeah, but since... It, I have no idea where anything is, that's part of the magic of randomizers, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you're... You know what? Fine, I'm gonna... Since I'm gonna be... Doing that anyway. Uh. I also know that some of these randomizers have a few quality of life adjustments. Yeah, some of them do, yeah. Like, I think these... Didn't these ends have, like, different prices in the original? No. The, uh. the, 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 in, the in prices are the same as they've always been. Alright. Oh, shoot. I forgot to grab the key stick. Dang it. I definitely need that for this part. Uh. No, I don't really need the mats off for this, so. Because there is one item that's at the end of. this happy segment here, which is what I got the key stick for, because otherwise, there's no way I'd have enough keys for this. Yeah. A lot of these stuff here, a lot of this stuff does sound familiar, it's just, it's been a while since I've interacted with this game. That die you. But I suppose... In the original, I would guess the key stick, based on... Hello, crown! Makes me glad I kept the shield! <laughs> Ooh, thank goodness. Uh, but the thing is, even now, this guy's not a pushover. Wasn't the key stick like one of the later items in the original? Say what? Wasn't the key sticks like one of the later items in the original? Uh. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough magic. Um. Items can be found in a whole lot of places. Actually, that chest that I just opened, that is normally where the key stick is. But, uh. You can also. If, if you know where you're. where to look, you can also buy one in a shop somewhere. Uh, in fact, a lot. In fact, I think the shield is the only item that cannot be found out in a treasure chest. You'd have to find it in a shop, but the randomizer changed that. Uh, so, crown, jump shoes, and yeah, I'm grabbing a crystal ball now, because I already know I'm going to be needing that. Oh! I guess I won't be needing- I didn't realize Sim's jump was this high, but oh well. I- f I think that it, it might be one of those things where they did some stat changing to the randomizer. I think yes, that was that. one of the randomized things. It randomized the, the people's stats. Yeah, and I think there was some stat that was made to be above a certain, certain threshold. Say what? At least, like, like there's a. I think, I think when they were producing this, they said they made a certain stat, not made it so that a, one of the certain stats couldn't go below a certain threshold to prevent a an unwinnable seed. Uh, for the stats, no, not really so much. It's more the more of preventing the unwinnable seed was more of a case of who can use what. Yeah. And the fact that if you randomize the shops, there's like two or three that are that have their contents fixed. Like the uh, the one in the treehouse at the start will always have the uh, I want to say it was the matok and the glove, just so that you'll have at least something that can move blocks around, which is yeah. a requirement for this. Uh, the fact that I don't have the spike shoes really sucks, and 
Yes, I know I can use... I can go through the portraits, but I, the path through the portraits has not been randomized, and I'm thinking that might be something in a later version, because the version of this was like 0 0.7. So... And to talk about that list of randomizers that the public list right now, there's... I, at least in the Link to the Past community, there's at least three that are currently being beta tested. Currently being tested for before release. I know there are, there's two that I know of that I've one that I've taken a spin on and yeah I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to Link to the Past so yeah it's good to play the original game a few times I, I do have like the GBA version but even then I have, haven't really played that like once or twice yeah uh, What? Are because your strength these... still? Nope, your strength is two. Okay, that explains that. To some a lot degree. of these randomizers are designed so that you really should go into them and like a bit of the game. Before yeah. Hand. Yeah. True enough. Especially where, like, say all the chests are or something like that. Yeah, like a game like this that I do know backwards and forwards. Yeah. And then there's also different different difficulties. And I think I'm about to die. Dang it. <sighs> the lack of spike shoes is hurting me. Hurting me badly. Really, I don't really need the jump shoes for anything here, because Zem's jump height is so high, I don't really need it for much else. Uh, actually, no. I will be needing it. There's one specific spot that I will still need it for. Uh, there's, uh, I think there's like 10 different portraits, or at least portrait destinations, and a lot of them don't really do me any good. There's pretty much just one specific path that'll take me to where I need to go on this. And I really shouldn't be stingy with my money, I've got plenty of money, I should be staying at the end more often. Yeah. Especially uh, since these enemies are taking a good chunk out of me. But yeah, another insight into these, a lot of these randomizers is they'll typically have three different base difficulties and maybe some other settings depending on what game. Such as, I mean, the, the three difficulties usually are a normal randomizer where if you're not one of those people who's in, d into those insane challenges of dodging everything, it's more for you. Well, uh, still, so this one doesn't really have pre those kinds of presets. Uh, no, I mean, it's still early on in its versions by the sound of it. Yeah. But I mean, there's masochist where, yeah, you need. To be, it's recommended you be a masochist to even go, even consider going through it. Like, it gives you the absolute minimum. So, admittedly, that'd be kind of hard to do here. Yeah. If you really wanted to go masochist, probably the thing to do would be maybe... ...have no equipment in chess and you have to buy everything. And sh I mean, I would imagine in a difficulty like that, they would limit the amount of life you could get, the amount of magic. Maybe like ma like ma random like randomizing how much the uh, how much the bread magic jars give you. Yeah, that would do it. And yeah, I am just I'm gonna re heal myself up right now. And I would imagine in this. I, I think what I remember from this game is that there's different types of magic. Not really. Magic is all, all right. from one pool. Ah, uh, no, I mean like different items that use magic. Oh, well, yeah. That's a given. 
but in pro, a mascus would probably limit what your options are for that. Oh god, I am about. I'm glad I healed up because I'm about to die again. And Wait, what was here? Was this was uh, something that I don't need. Uh. Not sure how it's supposed to dodge that, but okay, fine. As far as a lot of the technical stuff goes about randomizers, open source or closed source, I don't have those details as I'm not that expert on technology. I'm not either. I'm not really tech savvy, despite some people assuming that I am because I play video games and such, but whatever. Yeah, I would imagine that they're probably open source, seeing as some of them have, like, some people that work on them. But a, a lot of these, it seems like a lot of these newer randomizers coming out are doing in-browser stuff. I've only seen one, and that was one of the uh, Link to the Past ones. Yeah. There's a lot of work being done to do stuff. There's also a Mega Man 2 one online, but there's also so the talk of a few of the other randomizers going browser. Uh, hold on, let me see, uh, there's a site that I go to that has a whole lot of, uh, randomizers, it's pretty much just a database for the whole thing, let me just grab the yeah. link to that real quick, and... But a lot of these randomizers that are in the testing phases are the discussions for them, there's various Discord groups that do work on it. There we go. So, like, that place has pretty much been my go-to for for randomizers. And, yeah, I should probably close my browser now, because that's probably doing nobody any good. Uh... So, it's where I found the randomizer for Dragon Warrior. It's pretty much, uh, it's the one I found, it's where I found uh, Zelda 2. But I know that there's some randomizers from some more modern games like Nintendo 64, and uh, I want to say there's um, one for for the uh, Zelda's uh, N64 games. Yeah, but I know that there's one for in time, but it's really early on in development. Oh, jeez. Like, right like right now, it just pretty much all it does is just it's got the initial randomizer code. Hey, okay, let's shuffle these items around. No dupes. And some. And uh, I can't. There, I know. I know. There's an in here. There you are. Healing now. Uh, that was way too close. But in a sense that. In a sense that every chest that has a small key, let's say that it gives you the ice arrows. Now every time you open up a chest with small keys, it will be ice arrows. It's that primitive. Oh gee, oh wow, okay. And it only has like a very few select seeds. I don't know if any of them are beatable without major glitches. Alright, so I should be able to get up here with the jump shoot. Oh, yep, yes I can. Yes I can. Without enemy assistance. Alright, now that takes me to there. Die you, thank you. Haha. 
I wish. I know that. That Dragon Slayer get. Getting out now. Alright, so... Really, the Dragon Slayer is all I need, because the shield's not going to do me any good. I can't even initiate the Dragon Fight without the Dragon Slayer being the active item. So now it's just a matter of how much health am I going to have when the fight starts. As long as I'm not being stupid, I should be fine. Because gonna say, the, the dragon fight's not the hardest thing in the world. What is it? Well, the thing is, there is an inn right next to where, right by the dragon room, too. And I don't have to worry about magic. I'll have unlimited magic for, the, for that fight. <laughs> Though I'm not used to having... Being able to jump this high, that's probably going to mess with my usual pattern of things. Yeah, of course. Alright. Using the inn for hopefully the last time. As for randomizers that I would like to try out sometime, if I can get the means to do it, the Final Fantasy X randomizer. Uh, that's actually... there is one! Yeah, I mean, I've seen that, but uh, it looks... Oh yeah, but having the means of... This up. Having the means of... Well, well, I know there is a emulation for PS2, but my goodness, yeah. my computer's not strong enough for it. I mean, I'd probably... I'd, I'd, I'd imagine it's probably compatible with the Steam version. I I'm not even gonna mess with it. And normally my Rois's normal jump height for this is right at head high. So having being able to jump up this high is definitely awkward. Is this one now? Is Legacy of the Wizard exclusive to the NES, or was it like an arcade release at some point? Um, there was a few, and I know it was to the uh, MSX and MSX2. And word of note, they actually the MSX2 version was actually significantly different than the NES one. I thought that was neat because there's actually d items in different locations and such, and you actually you can actually go through the portraits with only one crown as opposed to having all four and you actually need to do that to get the shield <laughs> so I thought that was a neat thing that it was a neat experience and there's actually a section of the world that's actually laid out differently yeah it's not a whole not a large chunk of it but it's enough to enough to throw you off if you're used to this version of things yeah And he's almost dead. Was it an, was it a flawless fight? I didn't see what your HP was at the beginning. Yes, it was. Thing as long as you're not getting, if not, uh, yeah. he only breathes fire when you're basically within range. So as long as you keep your distance. Yeah, as long as you're not stupid about it. And unfortunately, the ending here is unchanged. It's still Roas that comes out of the comes up the ladder at the end. Yeah. 1.6. I was kind of wondering what would happen if Pochi ended up being the, the big hero, but oh well. Maybe that's something that can be in future versions. I don't even know how that would how that would work, but because that because I don't even know if there's the necessary sprites for the other family members to even to even do this. Mm. 
Um, in, into the... After you. Are you referring to, like, the Discord chat, or, uh, Zoria, or what? Because I just... I just put a link in the chat. Do you mean to do that again? Of course, a lot of these hacks have crashed on me. Of course, a lot of these uh, people who make all these hacks have surprised me in the past. It's, uh, there were some parts of the world that we didn't see, but we still got saw a good part of it. I think there was only, like, the last third or so of the of Manus Path. That was really all we missed out on on this, so that... One thing I was concerned about was finding all four chests in, like, half an hour, and then not knowing what to do after that. But I think... It's been two and... What, two and a half hours now. I, I think once the credits run their course, I think I'm going to end things off here. Because there's really not enough... Since I'd probably only be streaming for like at least maybe another hour or so, there's really not much point in starting starting a new thing. And I'm even not, I don't even know what that next thing is even going to be. <laughs> if you're on my Discord, I'm open to suggestions. I've, got, I've already started a list of possible ideas, but I'm... I'm I'm open to suggestions, cause yeah, it's better to have too many ideas than not enough. Yeah, like there, it's. I guess it's probably over 100 options. I'm sorry, what? I guess this list right here has over 100 options. What on my LP list? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, the fact that most of them are. Our RPGs is kind yeah. of a thing, but yeah. Oh uh, well, whatever I decide to do, uh, my next stream will might be Friday because I've got another one of those stupid late night out of town work things, and we'll see how I feel <sighs> then. But Saturday and Sunday yeah. are are you can definitely pencil those in. Uh, f uh, Monday and Tuesday possibly as well, but uh, Friday is probably the big if at the moment. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, the world has been saved from the forces of evil for now. One day, uh, new evil will make itself known, and when that day comes, I will be here.